A child safety alert this evening. Pool parties turning deadly at an alarming high rate. Just last night, police say, a four-year-old drowned at a family pool party on Caprice Drive near 103rd Street on the west side. She is the sixth child to die from drowning here in Jacksonville, here in our area, in the past two months. That's according to the Department of Children and Families. So far this year, here in all of Northeast Florida, there have been nine child drowning deaths. Channel 4's Vic Michalucci is joining us live to show us how this is happening, Vic. And Tom, every parent needs to pay attention to this. 20 seconds, that's all that it takes for a child to go underwater and start to drown. 20 seconds, that's not a lot of time. That's enough time for them to suck water into their lungs and unfortunately not be revived. We have almost hit that mark in just the time that it has taken for me to do this live shot. It happened behind this fence in a family's pool. An afternoon barbecue turned tragic. An aerial view shows where police say four-year-old Kira Williams drowned. There were several adults and children nearby, but they discovered her too late. The people who live here and through this party did not answer the door today, but neighbors told me they are good people who were concerned about family, friends, and safety. They say this is nothing but a tragic accident. It's like heartbreak all over again. Dale Fuller's parents know what they're going through all too well. Three weeks ago, their 12-year-old son drowned at a pool party. You kind of wonder, when is this ever going to stop? When are people going to really realize that if your children are in the water, they aren't safe. If you're not in the water with them, your children are not safe. Now they're desperately trying to let others know about the dangers. They might not be able to call out to you. They might not be able to signal that they're in trouble. Or you might just assume that they're playing. And as they're still devastated about their own son, they pray for the family who lost their loved one last night. That's what I would really love, for this to be the last child. We've lost too many, not just mine. All those that followed them and all those that preceded them. And it doesn't have to happen. And DCF officials warning people this afternoon, telling us that children should be actively supervised at all time when they are in and near the water. We're talking about pools, the beach, lakes, any body of water. They also say that pools need barriers, fences, something to go up along the side. Kids need swimming lessons. They recommend that kids start at about four years old. And they say everyone should know what to do in the case of an emergency. We're live tonight. Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.